Ta -da. All right, uh, let's get going. Let's get started on this. So, uh, welcome everybody again on this beautiful thing. Um, so today I'm gonna try to get this part done and then that part as well done, so that we are eventually seeing one part of the wings as well. As well. So yeah. Um, ah, of course I already switch back to a painting so I need to do that again. There you go. Pencil too. So yeah, let's get started. Don't want to be causing too much trouble. Should I first do this? Yes, I should. Wing two. That's this part. That's this part, yes. And then that is the other part. And then that's this. Yes, alright, good. So first things first, I need to go to there, close these off, because I don't want to mess around with that. I'm gonna start drawing. I forgot I did not do the right thing. Now let's go to black first. Forgot about that. So today I'm gonna be doing this again, you know, continuing on the wing wing part which we are doing and then eventually we will get to the end. So yeah. Um today we're gonna try to do continue here and then eventually, you know, we will be able to fill up this part and then everything will be fine. Because as long as these wings as these feathers are continuing, you know. This might be easy. So, uh, let's see, so, yeah, I need to do first this part, and then continue there. So eventually, you know, everything will be working out well, fine, but now, for now, you know, I need to focus on these feathery parts, and then continue there. So let's see. Um, as long as these feathers, you know, they they work well. But you know, not every time, you know, you can go for these kind of feathers. Sometimes you need to approach with a different kind of approach on texturing. And you know, I'm thinking about doing that for the next time I'm trying to draw. So if I would go for a different texture, that might be a smart move. Don't know which kind of texture I need, but. You know, this is gonna be taking a long time before I'm able to be able to get things done. So these drawings, you know, that's why they're called projects instead of bloody damn drawings. Uh, I cannot, I cannot work like you know, one whole day on it in one go. I will lose my focus. I will lose my insight, and you know, things will look horrible. That's what's gonna happen. So to prevent that, that's why I'm actually only doing one hour. This way, I will improve my skills every day, and I will get on and I will get there slowly, but steadily. And I think that will win the race instead of you know being very fast on it and eventually seeing problems occurring because you forgot something or you did something the wrong way. And then you know everything is gonna be running against you. Eventually you will collapse from frustration because you don't know how to solve it, or you get 
very tired because you are unable to fix it. So, yeah, I'm trying to do my very best upon, you know, drawing every single day. I'm doing that every single day, working on this project every single day. Every day, same time, doing it every single time. And, you know, eventually this will look nice, but for now it's only grey, so it's all black and white. And, you know, black and white also has something. Don't get me wrong. Black and white is always lovely. Um, the only downside is it's black and white. It's not fully. Um, it's not everything. Let's say the least. What the? What the? What the? What the hell? Why is this all there? Hmm. Something is fishy here. Something is definitely fishy here, so I want to have another want to have another wing on top of this. Do I need to be on top of it? Yes. Because if I go down on it it shouldn't be wrong, right? Because if I go down on it it draws, but the painting layer does not work. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Why is this one? Not able to do so. Is this a copy of the Blood and Them drawing of white? Because I think that's why it's bugged out. Eh, you know. So, the idea here is that, you know, this is just the guiding lines, and then this is the drawing where the white touches the, touches the rest of the uh, wing, which is the mask, and this is then the midsection of, you know, the, the place where we were before. The idea here is that, you know, every single thing that I draw um, will be connected to each other. But it needs to be it needs to be smoothly connected, otherwise it will not look nice. This is why I'm separating these parts together. Same as the wings, I separate them as well. So every wing has its own sections. So that if I make a mistake in one go, like I draw over here, I don't remove the whole place. Which sometimes hap which sometimes happen, which is quite annoying to watch, quite annoying to deal with. That's why I'm working on layers of this, and I'm trying to do my very best upon keeping keeping that uh, same flow. So, working on layers, creating masks if I need to, and then drawing upon them to fit the needs of necessary things. So that's why the that's why the wing is like you know this. I should be like be able to do whatever I want. So yeah, eventually I will get there. I just need to make sure that I don't screw over. Um. So let's take a look at the other part. So I can take a look at this. Yes, it's this the same. Good. I need to make sure that I change the position of the wing of the feathers because you know the feathers go this way and I'm not doing that one right now. So yeah, I'm changing that up. So that the feathers are pointing towards the entrance of the part wing. Also you can also you can see that you know because I um, created a tick line between them, you can separate them between each other so you know which one is the first feather and which one is the uh, layer. So this one is different than this, that's why you can see it happening. You can also see it here, but you know, I already did that part. But just to keep you a quick reminder why I need to tick in the lines sometimes, because otherwise they will blend in with the with yeah, with the big with the big wing parts, which you don't want. You don't want to have these things being layered and then you know being merged. You don't want them to have merged. Eh, that's a wordy name. Merging. All right. I still find it very weird that you know because I copied a layer that 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 created a problem within the wings. Well, you know, it happens. It happens. 
I don't mind it happening, but it sometimes feels strange, you know, because I'm not always used to this program. I was never used to this program because this is actually like I'm now using this program for three months now. Three, four, max, top notch. All right, continuing. So, um, to get this done, which I'm probably gonna be doing, I need to get this. Oh, I need to get this done like really quickly. Well, not quickly, but I mean, um, I need to have these. I need to make sure that I put in. Yes, I'm putting it on the right layer. Putting that on the right layer. Good. Good, good, good. Everything is fine now. Good. Nice to know. Also, um, I don't know if you can see it, but once this is done, you know, I'm I am getting that to close. Then I have like a big giant opening here. So I need to figure out how to do this part right over here. But I think I will be managing that. There. So yeah, um, the most things I'm gonna draw today is just gonna be the same thing as I always do, drawing fennus. So yeah. As you can see, I'm trying to get towards the uh, towards the pointy points, but it takes sometimes a lot of time to get towards it. I try to do my very best to get towards it, but sometimes you know I fail at it. Sometimes I don't fail at it. It just takes an awful lot of time. I wish I would be able to have that much of a problem with it, but you know. I don't mind. I don't really mind. Come on, come on, come on, there you go, had a little leg spike there, so yeah, I'm trying to get everything fixed the way, you know, it's supposed to go, so, um, because of this, this is going to be very difficult to do, now, the uh, I need to do now do first. I need to have everything drawn. Then I need to color it, and then I need to even color it again so that I have the shading correctly. So it's probably gonna may take me like three months, maybe, before this is actually finished. But I don't know. I don't know. Probably gonna be taking me three months, but. Once it's finished, it should be finished forever. So that's the plus side. I don't have to change anything. And if I want to change something, I can do that. Come on. Um. 
So eventually I will be able to um, be able to do whatever I want and that's like you know this. So yep. There you go. This is all gonna be just looking fine, so I know I don't mind. It's always like you know when you are trying to do something and you're trying to draw these feathers everywhere, you know. You probably be able to do whatever you want. It just takes so much time to do it properly. I must say myself, um, if I draw something and I like it, I normally do do it correctly. But you know, I sometimes need help myself when I try to draw something, especially if it comes to buildings. Holy hell, those are pain in the ass to draw. Uh, let's see. So yeah, I'm trying to do my very best here to just draw these feathers. But not all feathers are the same, you know. So yeah, um how do I say how to explain this? Uh, right, that's not what I wanted. That's definitely not what I wanted. I don't want to have a tick line like this. I don't need this. I don't need that. I don't need it. What I need is just, you know, feathers. Tiny little bits of feathers. Ah, yes, of course. Everything is glitching me out now. Alright, good. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with uh, knocking everything down to the ground, knowing that this is not going to be good. Probably there is now a problem with Discord itself, you know. But hey, you know, don't mind me. I'm doing my very best to get better at it. Get everything streamed, get everything done. Hmm. I did something wrong here. There you go. Much better. So eventually, once all of this is done, I will be able to do whatever I want. It just takes me a lot of time. Ah, uh, all right. Let's see. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Let's take a bigger look at it now. So yeah, this will be working fine then because this will then look like that. And I have this like that. Mm. And I will have a full wing then eventually. Hmm. I was afraid that it might not be looking well, but this will work quite well then. Nice, 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 nice. That's good to know. 
So yeah, um, I don't know if you can see it, but once this whole wing is done, I can then start with the last wing as well and fix that up. And then once we have the wings done, we can then use those wings to position them into the right place of the body and make ourselves a body. That's gonna be a difficult. Pro that's gonna be a difficult one, the body, because I need to also make a tail. I'm still wondering how I make the tail, but I know how to do it. Just I don't know the outcome of it, which worries me a little bit because the outcome is gonna be must be electrocuted. So you know, I'm trying to do my very best on this. Just takes so much time to just work around with just sing single feathers. Ugh. You know, if you have something very basic, like I don't know, what is very basic? A triangle, a pyramid. Yes, let's go for a pyramid. So a pyramid. You know, if you want to make details in a pyramid, it's gonna be very easy because you know you know how to make bricks. Well, congratulations, you know how to make texture on a pyramid. But feathers are sometimes a very difficult thing to do because of the amount of ner the nerves sometimes you want to cut, get, have, or you know sometimes they turn out to be rocks, like these ones. They turn out to be rocks instead of feathers, which I don't mind that they are, you know, not perfect. I mind that they are sometimes not looking like feathers at all. That's what I don't like. Like, you know, you try to do your very best upon drawing feathers and then they don't turn out great. But yeah, and, you know, you you have to roll with it. So yeah, um Okay man. So I'm trying to do my very best upon fixing these things. It's just that, you know, uh, that these things are sometimes not very handy dandy to work around with. They're feathers, for fuck's sake, as I said before. Feathers are like, ugh, I don't know, what, 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 what do I hate more than, what do I hate more than what I normally hate? Hmm. Yeah. Feathers sometimes stop stop your toe. Yes, exactly the word I was looking for. Sometimes feathers stop your toe. It's not normal, but you know, the, the feathers don't go well sometimes with you. Sometimes you have an argument with them, like, hmm, why did I draw it like that? And then you are you're asking your you yourself the question, and you fail to answer it, like, really terribly. Because I don't know. That's how feathers work, I think. I'm trying to do my very best upon getting these feathers fixed and done looking nice, but you know, it's sometimes so hard sometimes so duper hard to do so. Because of the amount of, you know, complexity within the feathers itself. So yeah.
So yeah, um, let's see. The heck am I? Mouse, there you go. So, what's gonna happen is probably that these things, you know, these wings are gonna be down there. As you can see, they're gonna be here. And then I'm trying to get these uh, feathers to be looking quite nice. And, you know, once this is all done, we have a second part of the wing done in the same style as this one. Uh, not fully the same style, but close to the same style. As you uh, notice that the style of the first wing was a little bit different than the other one. But, you know, I will fix that in the second one as well, because that way the style will be the same. It's just that the bottom part is different than the top part? Yeah. So the tiny wing is different than the top wing. I don't know, one can actually go towards here again. Good. Oh uh, boy, that's a terrible one. God damn it. Hold on. Drawing it on this different part is not a good idea. That's what happens, you know? Sometimes you forget that you are drawing on the wrong layer. Again. Well, too bad. I will go to the paint layer then. Come on. Alright, let's go. So, yeah. It happens sometimes, you know, when you try to do your drawing and then, you know, you forgot that you are supposed to do it in a different way. Well, you know, it happens. Gladly I got myself there. Right before I even had to do anything. So, yes. It's very important for me to do so because otherwise I would not be able to do it correctly and I will try to do my very best upon getting towards it. It's just sometimes you know you forgot things to do. Like for instance I'm almost there. I just need to do my very best upon you know getting there. So yeah, eventually you know you will get your hang on it again like this, and I should have put myself on mute. Of course I didn't. Of course I don't do that. I'm an idiot. Well, no, not that. Just don't disturb. That's better. So. The idea here is that I'm just, you know, drawing these things like a true man. Uh, eventually, you know, I will get better at it. But, you know, now I'm still working on getting the hang of it again. Because, you know, I'm now doing the different... Different... Yeah. So, anyway. As I said before. Um... This is all necessary. I'm trying to get to there, and then I need to make sure that I have this part right there done. So it's gonna be another angle again. Oh boy. It's gonna be a different angle again. So it's all gonna be going downwards now. So you have the downward spiral in the top half, and then the bottom half 
still is stationary. So I need to realize that, like, you know, it's going to be going down soon. The whole idea here is that these uh, feathers, as you can see, these these feathers are all need to be going downwards again. But yeah, it happens, it happens, it happens. Uh, to get these things fixed, uh, so I need to get down, I need to go down, and then we will be finally able to see the whole picture of the, fe oh, the first part of the thing. Because we then did it, act we actually did done it. We uh, made the I'm trying to keep on the not too sharp presence, but you know it's really hard sometimes to do correctly do it. So yeah. So yeah. Once this is all connected, you know you have the full uh, angle of it, and you have the full uh, how do you say it? the whole part of it. So this will be all fixed, and if when this is fixed, you know and connected, this whole thing will look like a one whole wing part. It's just a little bit strange to look only at a wing. Even though you know there are more things than just a wing at the part of it. So now we have this done. Now I need to go back again and there you go. I got it. There you go. So now this should be a part of the wing. Yes, it is. It's one part of the wing done. So, we could actually, you know, make this less of a problem here. You can, you know, you can, we can make this actually, we can create more here. If we want more feathers here, but, you know, so far, we can always add more. More wing, more wing part on it. So, let me take a look at it. So what I don't like is this part here. I really want to have more wing wing part here, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna do it very easily. So let's see. We want more wing parts here, but we already have the wings here, so allow me to just you know add wings to it. There we go. So this might not be looking like much of a work, but you know, I'm just redrawing these feathers a little bit so that they look the same as, you know, feathers on the middle side of it. And eventually, you know, we can just, you know, remove the other feathers, or we can just do the same thing as before, make a mask upon it. Which I'm probably going to be doing, so hold on a sec. So we're going to put a mask here. I'm gonna say like, hmm. Let's say that that's gonna be white. It's gonna be white, and I'm gonna need to go for the big color brush again. So we want this to be tick. So we want until here we don't want to have any. Until here we don't want any. Boom. Problem fixed. So now we go back to here. What do we say like up okay there you go and then we switch back to the part we wanted in the first place. Boom, baby. So yeah. As you can see the main reason why I'm trying to do my very best to keep on. So one, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, 
ten, twenty, twenty five, six and seven, twenty, twenty five. Ah, yes. So yeah. There you go. So, uh, let's see. Let's take a look at it. So, we increase the... We increase the gap to us. Um, now, we've done that. We cannot get any on the wing itself again. So now we need to actually go look at, like, where should I put the wing. So, we are gonna probably have, like... Is it Black years, it's black. Good. Alright, now. So we're now going to add up more parts of the wing. So that's the idea, at least that's the idea. So, yeah. Surely, you know, this wing needs some more feathers, that's true, but we also need to make sure that, you know, how about it? And then we add up. So yeah, it's all going to be added up again. So now we have this. So we have now completed this part, and we're going to now continue here, and then, and then, and then, and then, and up. But before we can do that, we need to actually have a connection point again. So this is the connection point number two, which as you can see is a connection point, because this is again a feather, or are yours. This is again one of the parts of the wing, so I'm gonna go here. So yeah. Uh eventually I will get everything fixed, but now you know. So I'm not capable, so whoopie daisy do. Let's see. It's a little bit strange, you know, working only on the only working on the wings, but hey, you know, it's a thing. I like to have my things in in steps. Like step one, draw an angle. Step two, draw an eye. Step three, draw a nose. Whatever, draw a mouth, and then draw some hair. So yeah, I like to keep things in my schedule. Like you know, I like things orderly. It doesn't mean that I can be wrong, though. It doesn't mean I cannot be wrong. If I want to be, if I am wrong, you know, you just need to say so. But now, you know, this is all just part of, you know, drawing. 
and all will be worth it once I'm able to, you know, get the color online. Because if I am able to color this, it look way, it would look way different than now. Now it's just only feathers, no shading, no lighting. The only thing you can see is foreshadowing, because you know that happens. That happens sometimes automatically when I'm trying to draw these. Well. Uh, feathers. It's just very important, you know, to keep a focus, uh, cool mind towards it. Like, you know, you will have progress. Don't get me wrong. I have now gained more progress, and you know, eventually, you know, everything will have more progress. It just takes some time before you know everything is fixed. Same goes for the drawings, because you know the drawings are very hard to do. Especially if I'm trying to do my shot and do it every uh, every single time the same thing way. Like, you know, a feather drawing is like really exhausting for your hand because you know you need to do it every single time the same same way, the same thing, so yeah, um it's a thing, so I don't need to worry about it. I just need to make sure that I have one things done correctly. So yeah. Oh, look at that, it's almost forty forty minutes in. Nice. So that's gonna be great. So now we can save up already, just in case. And boom, we did we did like we did this, we did that, we did this. So we technically did a lot. It doesn't mean it's a lot though. It's uh it's a lot in my progress book. Because the wing takes a lot of time before it is finally visible to be a wing. Because you know takes so much time and I'm not using a regular wing otherwise I would have been way easier this is not a regular wing otherwise I would have died otherwise I would have died this is a butterfly wing well a moth wing combined with a hawk wing so that's why it looks so strange and out of shape but eventually when it's you know this is done and I have the hat right there with the ears so I have the head, I have the ears, I can just you know move them around like so. I will allow me to just show you what I mean. I can move them around. Can I move them around? Yes. No. Move them. Move them around like so. There you go. I can put the body there, you know, and I have like a vis visibility on the body, like where do I want to have the body. I know the proportions of the body, so I can move like, you know, I know that the body is going to be here, but I want to actually have the body right there, so I'm going to move it right up there, that, that's more like it, like that. Come on. There you go. So I have the body, I know where the body is and how the body is gonna be looking like, so this is what is gonna be, you know, the proportion of it. So I know now where, you know, the big, giant, beefy things are, I can change up the direction I can change up the positioning of the wings if I want to, if I need to. It, it's just, you know, it just takes some time before everything is completed. That's the idea. But hey, you know, the Eventually, you know, everything will come to its come to its degree of what I want. So yeah, it's gonna be a great thing that it's all gonna be looking like this, but it just takes some time. Like boom, baby. So yeah, this is gonna be necessary. This is gonna be our next position. So tomorrow we are gonna go here and move that around there. Then move that around there. I'm gonna save this because I saved the position correctly. Good. 
So tomorrow this is going to be filled, this is going to be done, and then we can continue onward to the back side here. Do this, do that, and then that day after that it's going to be this, and then that is going to be finished, and then we can finally focus on the body itself. So anyway, that's that's the thought, that's the thing that I'm going to do. Just take some time before, you know, we're finally getting there, because I need to draw every single thing I need. Because that's how this works. So I'm going to continue back to the wing, because that's important. And let's start drawing the part that we need. So, we needed to have this feathery bone that was here right along with the rest of the family. So yeah, we're gonna make sure we have that feathery bone right there. Of course, we're gonna make sure that, you know, the splitting between both parts are equal. So yeah, there you go. So this is going to be one part, this is going to be one part. As you can see, uh, this is also one part, so I need to make sure I have this one as well. Fully done, so here we go. Now I can focus on this part again. So yeah, this is one of these thick lines that I followed. It's not on. It's a very terrible line to follow because it's not very, you know, thick. It's a little bit thinner than before. So how do we fix that? Well, we're just gonna be adding up some feathers and make them look like a big giant feather. So yeah, these these are gonna be just you know big giant feathers. They're not gonna be the the well. They're not gonna be tiny. I mean. Big feathers, yeah, that, that's more like it. So, focusing on that part, you know, and then eventually, you know, you will get to the part where this all extends again. So, we don't want that, we just want to keep on the same size because otherwise, this will not make any sense. But I'm making sure that I have some feathers that are a little bit more out of the ordinary so that you know one there one there so there are some bumps between them because otherwise it would not look like feathers So yeah, um, now let's take a look at this. Do we really need to have a thicker one, or do we? Can we just continue with that? Uh, no, we need to actually make it a little bit more thicker at the beginning. Otherwise, it will not look very nice at the end. So yes, there you go. Now it's better. Am I correct? Yes. So. This is gonna be there, this is gonna be moving there, right there, and then until there it's gonna be stopped. So next time we're gonna make sure that we fill this up correctly, put some put some big giant marker on it, and then you know we're gonna move on. Uh I hope you all enjoyed for today for today. And thanks for watching, and I hope I see you all next time. And until then, bye.